What is up? It's mowing among other things, aka Grass Lad, aka Prince E the Truth. And it's my off day today from mowing. I'm gonna try to get a couple things done. I'm gonna head up to Salem right now, check on a couple properties, um, taking recyclables to the dump or recycling center or whatever you wanna call it. Um, I thought I'd take this time today to discuss some of the um, finances regarding mowing by yourself, although I do mow with my dad. Um, right now I'm mowing more by myself um, throughout the work week, and I figured I'd break down not only the revenue, but also the cost associated with mowing in a given day. That means breaking down the fuel that I use on the average day, as well as the consumable parts that come up that you have to factor in although it's not something you you know typically spend money on every day as far as maintenance goes it's something you have to take account for and break that down so there are no surprises when you do have to pay out of pocket for something pretty significant that you weren't planning on it Done with the recycling. Headed up to do a couple more errands in Salem. It's hot today. It's like 90 something. The grass is so dry right now that to be honest, I haven't been doing near as much mowing as I normally do during the week. Um, a lot of yards are going two weeks and some are going even longer than that because it's just dead. And it's gotten to the point where a quick rain's not enough to rejuvenate it. Another errand taken care of. Went up to my grandmother's and had to fix her light above the sink. My eyes? Yeah. And this is good to know. Six foods. I can't believe it. Can you? The food right there. And I thought, he said just take one. Most people take two. Another errand taken care of. Had to run up to my grandmother's and fix the light above her sink. So that's done. So I'll have another three months of mowing. You know, people are always shocked when they're like, you're still mowing in October? Yeah, the grass is still growing. Especially the ones that get treated. They grow till November. I've mowed on Christmas Eve before. Mowing finances vary from person to person and whether you're working for a company or you own your own company or you work for someone that has their own company, whether it's one person, two people, three people, four people, if it's anything above two, it's usually an hourly kind of thing. We have our own equipment, can kind of charge what I want and I get paid per job, which is the sweet spot when it comes to, to mowing. I'm gonna break down the take home pay for an average day, an average full day of a solo mowing for me during the week. I don't mow alone on Saturdays. Um, Saturday is a work day for us, and we do divvy that up. Um, usually 33%, 33%, 33%, 33 to me, 33 to my dad, 33 for taxes and expenses and that sort of thing, gas. But as far as when I mow by myself, assuming, now these are all average estimates. Now, um, the yard count, will absolutely vary whether it's, you know, four gigantic yards or 10 small ones. I see a lot of clickbait titles on YouTube talking about, you know, I'm at 12 yards in one day and, you know, six hours and I can do that if it's, you know, 10 lots directly beside one another, you know, in like a cookie cutter subdivision setting. But we have some properties that are three and four acres and that's gonna take a couple hours. Um, not only alone, but when you have a second person, that's more man hours and it does cut the time in half, but still a lot of time. Assuming an eight hour day, seven to 10 yards, that average estimate, and 400 to $600. So for, obviously my revenue, I just said four to $600. Um, so that's a pretty decent range for revenue as far as revenue is concerned for the costs i'm not going to account for maintenance that's usually something that we take out um, monthly and try to make it 
evenly spread, take out the same amount each month. So when a big purchase does come up, um, we're prepared for that. And it's not a big surprise financially. So the biggest obvious cost is gas. Now we do use ethanol free in our trimmers, our blowers, and our mowers. Obviously the small engines are um, two cycle that we mix with oil, but we st we're still using um, zero ethanol for those. And even when gas prices are low, it's still well above $3 a gallon. And that absolutely adds up. Despite the fact that the mowers and small engines don't go through that much gas, but it's still a couple gallons a day, depending on how much you're mowing. So for the truck, um, obviously, for the truck you get worse gas mileage when you're you know pulling a trailer with weight behind it um, i estimate anywhere between 10 and 20 dollars um, per day for the truck and that can vary greatly if we're mowing from one segment of the city to the other or if we've got all of them in the same part of town or if we have two or three or four yards directly next to each other the truck's not moving so that's 10 to 20 dollars um, average estimate for gas for the truck um, five to ten dollars ethanol free gas for the mower um, for the trimmer and the blowers that's five to ten dollars and then like I said I'm not going to account for the thirty to fifty dollars a month for maintenance so when you net that out that's four to six hundred dollars minus ten to twenty dollars on a given day that's a range of um, $390 to $580, and that does not account for tax yet. It's pre-tax. Assuming a tax rate of 20%, because we do not pay taxes on all of our yards, a lot of them are on a cash basis. About 40 to 50% of our properties we do pay tax on. That's primarily the duplexes, quadplexes, and apartment complexes. Um, so assuming a flat rate of 20% tax that I then take out and pay at the end of the year with a 20% tax rate that leaves me with um, 78 to 116 dollars in taxes to pay so then at the end of the day I'm taking home anywhere between 312 to 464 dollars in a solo day of mowing doing the math on that from gross revenue to take home I'm taking anywhere from 70% to 80% home. Specifically, the numbers I came up with were 78% versus 77% from the high to low range. But um, it's pretty good, pretty good take home. And um, you can make a lot of money if you own your own equipment and you keep your hustle up. And you're getting paid per job. So thank you for watching. And if you would like me to do more videos like this, leave it down. This is a Princey The Truth production.